instructions. You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. Write all your answers in the listening question booklet. At the end of the real test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section 1. Section 1 you will hear a conversation between a foreign student and the accommodation secretary of the college at which he has enrolled. Listen to the conversation between the student and the accommodation secretary and complete the accommodation table. Write no more than three words or numbers for each answer. Look at questions 1 to 9 now. You will see that there is an example which has been done for you on the accommodation table. Conversation relating to this will be played first. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen because you will not hear the recording a second time. First you have another chance to look at questions 1 to 9. Now listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 9. Excuse me, is this the accommodation office? Yes, it is. Hi, my name's uh, Wolfgang. I, I'm a new student here. I'm wondering if you can tell me some information about the housing arrangements at this college. Yes, certainly. Well, I mean, basically there are two types of um, accommodation. The most popular is um, the college accommodation, um, but we also ac offer accommodation with local families. You mean a kind of homestay? Yes, that's right. Well, let me, uh, can I, do you mind if I ask you a few questions about both of them? Let me start with the college accommodations. Um, what kind of rooms are they? Well, there are basically two types of room, either a single or a twin study bedroom. So that's... I'd have a roommate then. That's right, yes. So it's two people sharing a room. Do all of the rooms have their own bathrooms? Uh, they don't. You, you have to share um, a bathroom and a toilet and showers with a group of rooms. So it's with about six to eight other students. I see. Well, uh, is it... Can I wash my hands and so on uh, in the room or... Oh, uh, yes. There is a wash basin in the rooms. But if I want to use the toilet or take a shower, I have to go down the hall. That's right, yeah. Ah, I see. Well, well, that sounds fine. What about bedding? Uh, is that provided by the college? Or? Yes, yes it is. Um, so all the bed linen is supplied. And the towels? No, so you have to bring your own towels with you. Oh, ha uh ha. -huh. Well, if I then... Uh, to wash my towels, uh, is there a place where I can do, go to do that? or? Yes, yes. So, um, there are two accommodation buildings in the college, and both of these have laundrettes. I'm sorry, they have a what? They have laundrettes. So these are places um, where you can take your washing, and there are washing machines. Oh, I is it free or...? No. So there are coin-operated washing machines. Oh, so I use the coins to make the machine work. Uh-huh, yes, that's right. Oh, okay, that sounds fine. And the, the rooms are actually cleaned um, every week. And the bed linen is changed also at the same time. Oh, that's wonderful. That sounds fine. Um, if, I, if I do decide to stay in the dormitory, I'm going to want to have a chance to watch television. 
I want to use TV to practice my English. Is there a TV in the room? Well, no, there isn't a TV in every room, Mum. But there is a common room which has、um, a colour TV in it and some kind of sitting areas so students can meet together and they can watch TV. Oh, well, that sounds fine. Uh huh. And, uh, but actually, there's also a large hall for films and discos and kind of parties and other social occasions. Oh, well, that sounds very good. That sounds interesting. I may want to do that. But before I decide for sure, let me ask about the other possibility. I think you said there's a kind of homestay program, is that right? Yes, that's right. So we select local families who、um, want to have students staying with them for a short period. Hmm, well, that sounds interesting. How, do I,、uh, how does that work? Do I eat there every day and, and sleep there as well, and so on? Oh, well, basically, there, there are two kinds of accommodation available here. So,、um, the first one is half board. So, this is where、um, you just eat breakfast and evening dinner with the family. Oh, and then lunch I would have on campus. That's right, yes. So, that's, that's during the week, but at weekends you'll have all your meals. All the meals there? With the, yeah, with the family.、Um, so, that's. The, the other one was. Uh huh. So, that was half board. The, the other one is bed and breakfast. So, this is where you just have breakfast with the family seven days a week. So, that includes weekends. And then I would have the lunch and dinner on campus. Is that how it would work? That's right, yes. So it's just breakfast. Well, now that I think about it, I wonder if maybe that might not, not be the better option for me. That way I would have a chance to be practicing my English with the British family. I, yes, I, I think I'll sign up for that. I'm pretty much sure that's what I want to do right now. Is it okay to go ahead and sign up immediately? Okay, yes, yes, that's fine. Right. Let me just see if I can find the forms. That's the end of section one. You'll have 30 seconds to check your answers. Now turn to section two. Section two. You'll hear the second part of the conversation between the foreign student and the secretary. Fill the form as you listen. Now look at questions ten to twenty. As the talk continues, fill in the form as you listen and answer questions 10 to 20. I think I'll sign up for that. I'm pretty much sure that's what I want to do right now. Is it okay to go ahead and sign up immediately? Okay, yes, yes, that's fine. Right, let me just see if I can find the forms. Okay, right. So your name is. My name is Wolfgang Schmidt. That's Wolfgang. Wolfgang? Okay, how do you spell that? W O L F G A N G. Okay, G A N G, uh huh. And my last name is Schmidt. Schmidt, uh huh. S C H M I D T. S C H M I D T. And your address? You mean in Germany? Yes, yes, your home address. Ah, it's Franz Dieter Strauße. Ah,、oh, how do you spell that? That's F 
R A N Z. F R A N Z. We say Z in Britain. Oh, I'm sorry. Z. Yes. F R A N Z. And the next word is Dieter. That's D I E T E R. Ah.、Uh-huh. And. And the last word is Strausser. Strausser. So that's S T. S T R A U S S E. S S E. Franz Dieter Strausser, number five. Number five. Ah.、Uh-huh. In Bonn. Right, and that's Germany, obviously. Germany. Ah.、Uh-huh. And your age? I'm twenty. I'm sorry, no. I just turned twenty-one yesterday. Oh really? Happy birthday! Thank you. Uh huh. Okay. And the program that you're in? I'm on the four-month program, so I'll be staying here until the end of December. Right. And so you have any special dietary requirements? I'm sorry. I'm not sure what you mean. Ah, is is there any kind of special food that you you need, or that you don't eat? Oh no, I like to eat most every anything. Um. Ah, that's just as well with British food. I don't think so. I'm looking forward to、uh, trying some British dishes. Really? Well, okay.、Um, we like to to ask you something about yourself, your personal interests and things, so that we can match you with、uh, an appropriate family. So. Oh, okay. So, do have you got any personal interests or hobbies? Well, I I like to do sports. Um, I especially like football. If it's possible, I'd like to be with a family, maybe where there's somebody I could practice football with. Right, football.、Um, and have you got any special requirements as to the family that you're going to stay with?、Um, oh well, you know, I come from a large family back in Germany, so maybe if it's possible, you could put me with a family where there might be a another young person or two. Perhaps it would be good. Right. So someone about your age, perhaps. Hmm. Maybe someone I could play football with. Yeah. Right. Well, actually, I interviewed a family yesterday who seemed just right for you. Oh. Um. Their name is Roberts. So it's the Roberts family. Um. Mr. Roberts is a bank manager. Oh really? My father is a bank manager. Oh well, and. That sounds very good. So his his wife is a part-time nursery school teacher. So she just works in the morning. Okay. And they have two children. The girl is eighteen, but she's actually just gone away to college. So this is why they have a room vacant. Oh, so I would, I would stay in her room then. That's right. Uh huh. Oh well, that sounds fine. And their son is sixteen years old, and he likes football very much. Well, that sounds very good. I think I,、uh, I'd like to meet this family. Is that possible to to do that? Yes, it is. Um. What I'll do is, I'll give Mrs. Roberts a ring now. In fact, she should be should be home at this time, so I'll give her a ring. Okay, thank you. That is the end of section two. You will now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section three. Section three. In this section, you will hear a conversation between Wolfgang and his new friend Mary, who has already been at the college for a few months. In the first part of the conversation, they're talking about a social activity program at college. First, look at questions twenty-one to twenty-seven. Note the examples that have been done for you.
Now listen to the first part of the discussion and answer questions 21 to 27. Hi, Wolfgang. Ah, Mary, how are you? Oh, fine. How's it going? Have you just had a class? Yes, I just finished my listening class. It was a little bit difficult. Yeah, yeah. It's always difficult when you first arrive somewhere. I found it quite hard when I first arrived. Mm. But you know what really made a difference? It was going on these social activities that the, the college arranges for you. It kind of gives you a chance to practice your English and... Mm. I've heard that the college is pretty good about organising those kinds of things. How do, how do I find out about it? Well, I've just picked up a schedule today. Let's, let's have a look at it. Here it is. What is it? A schedule for, for this week or...? Yeah, yeah, let's have a look. OK, yeah. Maybe we can do some things together, in fact. Yeah, that would be great. So... Let's see. What are they doing tonight? Monday night? Well, they've... So... Oh! They've got singing with guitar. So I went to this last week. It's... Oh, really? Yes, it's quite good fun. Is it pretty good? Yeah, yeah. What do they do? Do they have a concert or...? It's... They teach you, um, modern and traditional songs. Hmm, well, I'm not much of a singer, but, uh... Oh, come on. You should go. It's really good fun. Well, I suppose it'd be a good way to practice my English. Yeah, because you learn kind of British folk songs and things. It's... yeah, it's really interesting. Oh, but look at that. That starts at eight. But I notice at nine o'clock there's a, a late-night coach to Cambridge for a film. I think I'd want to try, go to try that. Uh, what time does this singing thing finish, do you know? Oh, well, usually it, it kind of lasts about two hours. But, I mean, we can always leave earlier. They don't mind. Do... Oh, OK. So we can do both, then? Yeah, so... Right. So that's at nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah. What movie is it? Let me see. Oh, oh, it's Rocky. Have you seen it? Rocky. Rocky? Oh, that's... That's uh, the one with Richard Dreyfus, isn't it? Richard Dreyfus? No, it's to Sylvester Stallone. Oh, yes, I remember now. American movie. Yes, I haven't seen that. I want to see that. Good, let's go to that. All right, oh... OK. Oh, did you see on Tuesday that there's a tennis tournament? Tennis? Hmm, what time is that? Well, that's at four o'clock in the afternoon. Where is it? Is it on campus or...? No, no. It's at w Wembley, so that's in London. Oh, oh, so that. It's pretty far away then. What time will it be coming back? Um, so it... the coach gets back at midnight. Oh, midnight. Well, hmm, tell you what. I think maybe I'd better cancel on that, because I've got a class Wednesday morning, and I'm afraid, at about 8.30, I'm afraid if I came back that late, I probably would, uh, I'd be very tired in class, and actually I, I'm more into football myself anyway. Oh, football? Well, did you see there's a football match on Wednesday? Oh yeah? Well, who's, who's playing? Let's see. Oh, it's England and Brazil. Oh, I really want to see that. Would you like to go together? Yeah, sure. What time is it? Let me see. It says 15.30. So that would be 3.30. 3.30, huh. Now, I've got a... I have a lecture uh, right after lunch on Wednesday at 1.30. Uh-huh. What lecture's that? Oh, well, there's a journalist coming from the BBC. He's going to talk about his experiences as a foreign correspondent. Oh, that sounds interesting. Would you... would you like to go? Yeah, what time do you say it was? Uh, right after lunch, around one thirty. Oh, one thirty. I have a class then. What a sh... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Well, what time does your class finish? Finishes... It's an hour long, so it finishes at 2.30. Oh, well, I shouldn't imagine. The lecture shouldn't go much later than that either. So after your class and after my lecture, we can get together to go to the football game. OK, so we can meet... Let's see, maybe three o'clock, or, or maybe 
Yeah, I think 3.15 would be all right. OK. Where should we meet? Well, usually these, on these kind of trips, the coach leaves from in front of the dining hall. So maybe we could meet there. OK. So in front of the dining hall at 3.15. That sounds fine. Yeah, right. On Thursday, there's an international evening in school hall. Yeah, all songs and dances performance by students from all over the world. That's very interesting. Would you like to go and see? Yes, when is it? It will start at 8. Shall we meet at 7.50 in front of the school hall? Fine, 7.50 in front of the school hall. Now listen to the second part of the conversation and answer questions 28 to 32. Oh, and another thing I definitely want to do this weekend uh, is to go and see... Uh, they're going to have a trip to Stratford on Avon. I think it's on... let me see... what day is that? Friday, I think my roommate told me. Oh, Friday. Would you like to go to that? Yeah, but are you sure it's Friday? I thought that's what he said, but I'm, I might have been mistaken. Well, usually these things are on weekends. Right. Let's see here. Oh, you're right, yeah, Saturday morning, 8.30. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, Friday's the disco. Oh, disco. Yeah. So, actually, I've arranged to go with some of my friends. So, if you'd like to come along with us... Oh, that would be very nice, yeah. Yeah, you can meet some more students. Oh, well, what time... what time shall we go to that, then? Well, it starts at... What time? 8.30, but we don't want to go too early. So let's say 9 or 9.30. Let's say 9.30. OK, yeah, we can meet there. Um, but we'd better not stay too late because the Stratford thing is uh, pretty early in the morning. The bus will be leaving at 8.30. Oh, yeah, right. So we want to make sure we get up for that. Yeah. Say, by the way, this trip, um, since it's uh, quite a f way away... Do we have to pay anything extra for that, or is it free? Hmm. Well, usually most of the trips are free. But, yeah, for these ones, which are quite a distance away, then we usually have to pay a, a little bit extra. Is it a lot, or...? No, it's usually about £25, something like that. Oh. Well, do we have to tell them ahead of time that we're going to go? Yeah. Usually you have to sign up a couple of days in advance, so... Oh, where, where do we do that? Um, well, you do that at the student services office. So you have to go and see one of the social activities officers. Oh, so I just tell them that I want to go, and I pay my money and then sign my name. Well, I think I'll go ahead and do that today. Actually, I've got some free time right now. Do you know where I go to do that? Um, yeah, yeah. It's the... the student services office. It's just across the road from here. Oh, OK. Um, well, across the kind of... You mean the green building over there? Yeah, yeah. So it's on the second floor. Oh, OK. Well, tell you what, um, are you going to the Shakespeare thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Would you like me to go ahead and sign you up as well? Oh, yes, yeah. That'd be great. But, well, I haven't got any money on me at the moment. Oh, don't worry about the money. That's fine. You can pay me back this evening. I'll go and sign us now. And then when I meet you tonight at the singing, you can, uh, give me the money then. Oh, well, if, if you are sure, that'd be great. No, it's no problem. OK. Oh, is that the time? I'd better go. I've got a class. I'll be late. OK, sorry. I'll see you later then. All right. See you tonight. Bye. Bye. That is the end of section three. You will now have half a minute to check your answers.
Now turn to section 4. Section 4. In section 4, you will hear a conversation and answer questions 33 to 40. First, you have some time to look at questions 33 to 40. Now listen carefully and answer questions 33 to 40. Charles and Belinda are meeting in the hotel. They came for the anniversary conference. Ah, that's much better. Ah, that's yours, Belinda. How are you? Fine, thank you very much, Charles. Right. You have a good journey then, Belinda? Yes, I did. I did. I must say the plane was marvellous. Do you want a drink? Yes, please. You know, the plane journey was terrifically quick. It got in at uh, 10.30 and we left Gatwick at 9.15. What time did you have to start through in the morning? Well, that was, mm, that was a different story. Because I had to go to Victoria um, at, you know, to get to Gatwick. And it's from Victoria to Gatwick, three quarters of an hour. Then I had to leave home at 7.30am and get up at 6.20. Oh, gracious me. So I'm not sure if you save much, really. Jet travel, my goodness me. It's well, it was worth the experience, though. Oh, I mean, you know, I've never flown across the south of England, and it really looked absolutely fantastic, especially as we approached, approached Plymouth. You know, with this sunshine, and it looked really marvellous. Marvellous. Well, when you come up next time, would you be coming the same way? Oh, I don't think so. I don't, to be honest. Well, why not? Well, to be honest, it was a bit of a luxury, because it was a really expensive flight, and of course there are only three planes a day. Did you have a good journey? Yes, I had a lovely time. I came by train. What time did you start, then? Oh, about half past ten, I think. Got here about half past one. So it's only, what, three hours? Very quick. Very good. Well, this was, a, this was a nice train, you know, very modern and comfortable. And of course, lots of trains, about every hour, I think. Oh, great. Did you get something to eat on the train? Yes, had a nice lunch. Oh, it's wonderful. You can sit there drinking your soup and watching the view go by. I like it. I bet it's a hell of a lot cheaper than the plane. Well, actually, I thought it was quite expensive. Um, unless you've got a student card or something. Oh, those days are long gone. But it was quite crowded. I was, I was glad I'd booked a seat, you know. Yes. How did you come for the conference last time? On the coach. Good Lord. And it was really cheap. I thought I'd try it because I hadn't got much money at the time. You didn't have to start the night before, did you? Oh, no, no. I set off about twenty past eight, and I got here at round about two o'clock. Good. And it was really comfortable as well. A lot of motorway travel, then? Well, there was a lot of motorway travel. Because there was a lot of motorway travel, I was able to read, to sit and read my book. And it was a really smooth journey, I remember. Didn't you get travel sick? No, I didn't feel sick at all. I think they were really hot, those coaches. Well, it was air-conditioned, actually. And it was really nice. Well, you had nearly six hours in the coach. Wasn't that very tiring? Yes, I suppose about five and a half hours. But I mean, once I started looking at my book, you know, I didn't notice the time at all. It just flew by. It's incredible. What was the service like then? I mean, were there a lot of coaches? I think it's pretty good. Uh, there are about five coaches in the day, and there's one overnight coach as well, I believe. So it's really nice. Splendid. Well, I think I'll try next time. Another drink? Oh, no thanks. I really think...
That is the end of section 4. Now you have half a minute to check your answers.